Hey, what's up? So I'm coming to you today from the floor, just because it's quiet here and there's some light. Um, I'm on currently like a two week trip around the country, really enjoying myself, seeing friends, family, working every day on a lot of cool projects, one of which I want to show you today. Uh, it's been for ages that I wanted to build like a little demo of Jarvis from Iron Man. Wake up, daddy Sean. Welcome home, sir. Uh, basically a little AI assistant. And so I built one that has three functions. It can send WhatsApps, it can do research, and it can also take notes for you. And so I'm gonna do a quick demo for you here right now. It's pretty cool, if not a bit limited, but uh, built using OpenAI, Whisper, and uh, Pi Auto GUI to do some really cool things that I think shows maybe the potential future for like voice agents and that doing cool shit for you. But straight into the demo. So I've got a uh, Python terminal open here. I'm gonna press enter to start recording. Hey Jarvis, um, please can you tell me a bit about the difference between dolphins and whales? I don't actually know the difference and I would like to know the difference. Um, please just give me the answer in three sentences. So then in the background it goes, it takes that audio recording, pushes it through to Whisper, um, puts that into GPT, gets a nice answer and then returns that to you with the uh, text-to-speech um, algorithm, which we're going to hear now. They differ significantly in size, social behavior, and physical characteristics. Dolphins are generally smaller, more agile. Okay, 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 it's gonna go on forever. Um, so that's the research function. So you can ask it anything. You could ask a normal GPT agent or a normal chat GPT window and it'll come back with an answer, which is pretty cool. It's basically giving voice to GPT. Um, let's go again and say, hey, please take a note. Please put inside the notes that today I worked on um, getting my cold emails sorted out, I messaged a friend, and I also went for the fourth day without a shower. Well, no, not the second day without a shower because the water has been off at our house for four days. Uh, yeah, write that all in a, in a note, thanks. That is true, by the way, the water has been off for like five days at the place I'm staying, so sorry if I'm looking a bit rough and going to gym, but anyway. So yeah, then it opens my notes app, it creates a new note, and it puts literally what I, I said into the note and then it saves it and exits it. Really nice. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying that functionality as well because- I've taken a note. <laughs> it told me I've taken a note. I've really been enjoying that functionality because I like to uh, use voice notes a lot and that's like a real easy way of um, dictating a note that you want to get saved in Apple Notes and then synced across all of your devices. And then finally, the WhatsApp functionality. Let's see, what shall I say? Okay. Hey Jarvis, please will you send a message to mom, tell her I'm going to be late for dinner and also that I um, picked up some chicken on the way home from that fancy butchery that she likes. And then same thing. So this is not actually like true like automation or AI or anything because it's not um, linked into the WhatsApp API or anything. It's literally just controlling my screen, going into WhatsApp web, searching for my mom's chat, typing it in and then sending it um, as if I was typing it in on WhatsApp web. But, um, I sent a WhatsApp to mom saying, hey, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be late for dinner. Also, I picked up some chicken on the way home from that fancy butchery you like. See, not bad. Um, but it's not obviously like a great, um, a super great um, advanced demo or anything because it's doing a lot of the stuff manually. Like I manually in Pi Auto uh, GUI placed where the um, specific points it should be that it should click and enter in order to send a message in there. But I wrote this in like, I don't know, two or three hours in the afternoon and that. Um, and it really shows the future functionality. When you plug um, these tools like Whisper and Text-to-Speech into larger systems, which I think is currently one of the news articles I see that GPT is working on at the moment, um, it's gonna enable a lot of really cool functionality. Basically like having a little executive, uh, executive assistant at your beck and call. Going through the code, it's pretty simple. We load in the OpenAI API key. We have a function that records audio that basically just um, uses the sound device library, records using a microphone, uh, we have a stop recording, which uh, finishes like finishes up some stream uh, handling with an array and stuff in the background, and basically then sends it off um, to get the transcription from Whisper from the Whisper API, then plugs it into AskGPT. That AskGPT function um, has got a prompt basically saying that you're a digital assistant, and then you can either do WhatsApps uh, notes or just general research, and then basically how to uh, return the data in a format that this. Um, uh, execute commands uh, function that can understand and this basically just either executes the code then for WhatsApps for notes or for research 
Um, uh, the, let's go down, this right notes and Apple notes, you can see yeah, it's just a very manual process for opening the notes, creating a note, typing in uh, what GPT gave back to us, and then closing the notes. Same thing for WhatsApp, opening WhatsApp, typing it in, typing in the recipient, typing in the message, and then closing it. And then finally, we have a response user function, which basically converts the response back from GPT into speech that can then be played back to the user. So you can do everything hands-free. I haven't set it up actually so that it's completely hands-free so that you can say like, hey Siri, please do this for me. Uh, I bet you it's gonna activate now. I know it didn't, that's good. Um, I have to click enter to start the recording and enter to stop the recording. But I mean, that's easily fixed with uh, like a short accessibility shortcut or just running it permanently and only sending off um, the stuff to Whisper at certain times. But um, yeah, not bad. And then that's just some, some boilerplate code. So all in all, a very simple, basic version of Whisper, um, sorry, of Jarvis uh, from Iron Man. Um, I've always wanted to build like a little executive to assistance. And I don't know, I think I've been using Super Whisper on my computer for um, dictating long voice notes and dictating long ideas, long paragraphs and that, uh, using a local Whisper model that doesn't go to uh, an API, but that actually executes on my computer. And that's been pretty useful. But something similar to this, this uh, voice assistant in that might be useful in future. And so I just wanted to spin up a little demo prototype for it. And it turned out pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, all in all, this week, mostly been working on cold emails. I'm aiming to send out a thousand cold emails for my AI application agency in the next couple of weeks. So I've just been learning this week about um, email warm-up and how to reduce the likelihood of cold emails going to spam. And so I've been setting up a new inbox, a new mailbox. I've been setting up all the records and that on the DNS settings on GoDaddy. And then I migrated it to Microsoft because I couldn't get a DKIM record set up properly. This has been a week of like fiddling stuff so that I can actually send out all those cold emails and finding more leads in the meantime for all sorts of companies in South Africa, for logistics companies, for retail companies, for anyone that basically might have a use case for an AI enabled product, dashboard, website, anything. Because that's where I want to take my career in the next couple of years and it's what I'm interested in building at the moment this year. And so yeah, hoping to do some projects in that domain soon. I'm going home on Monday, looking forward to that, to getting some more work done there. Um, and yeah, I've got to decide what project I'm going to do next. In addition to just getting these cold emails uh, sent out, I'm going to I build like a little automation tool to send out all the cold emails for me. So I'll be sharing that soon with you. And yeah, otherwise I don't think I have too much to say. Hopefully I'm going to find a, a shower soon. <laughs> we'll go tomorrow to the gym, have a nice shower. But yeah, otherwise just been hanging out with friends. It's been awesome to spend some time with mates. Uh, in Maritzburg and uh, Hilton and now in Durban with the family. So going home uh, on Monday, looking forward to getting some good graph done and I will catch you soon. This has just been a quick update video. Talk to you later. Bye.